Hello Mr Price here and this is the fourth video on the January 2007 Mechanics 2 paper and this one is on work, energy and power. Let's take a look. So uh, we have a skier here of mass 80 kilograms. He's being pulled up a slope at an angle of 20 degrees from the horizontal and our skier is subject to a constant frictional force of magnitude of 70 newtons and our speed of the skier is increasing from 2 meters per second to 5 meters per second which has a uh, changing difference of 25 meters and what we want to do is work out the work done by our pulling force okay so let's just do a quick diagram of what's going on here so here's my hill of angle uh, 20 degrees okay now point A he's traveling at 2 meters per second and at point B he's traveling at 5 meters per second okay and there's a difference between these two values of 25 meters Okay, and at all times there is a resistance of 70 newtons backwards. Okay, so we know the work done of the whole system will result in the change in kinetic energy. And we have two speeds, so we can work out the work done of the whole system. So let's get to it. So we have half m v squared minus half m u squared. So this is the half of our skier is 80 kilograms, half of 80, lots of 5 squared minus half of 80 of 2 squared. And we should find the work done of the whole system to be 840 joules. Okay, but we don't want the work done of the whole system. We want the work done of the pulling force. So within our whole system, we have the work done of the pulling force. But... There is also a, negative, um, a work done against our pulling force, which is our resistances, work done by resistances. And this is made up of the resistance force and gravity working against us. Okay, so we know that 840 is equal to the work done of the pulling force minus now um, a work done is a force multiplied by a distance so we need to know the total forces working against us for the distance of 25 so um, this is a quick force diagram here so there's 70 newtons here there's a force downwards of uh what's his mass 80 kilograms was it so 80 g and that had an angle of 20 degrees so f resistance is equal to 70 plus 80g sine 20 okay so the work done is a force times the distance so we need to subtract 70 plus 80g sine 20 all multiplied by the distance 25 meters okay there's one unknown here, so do some rearranging. You eventually come to the work done of the pulling force to be 
9,293.59 joules. Okay, I've done it to a bit more accuracy because we're going to use this value for part two. Now, for part two, we're now being given a slightly different situation. Um, we're told that actually there's pulling forces working at an angle from the horizontal. Okay, now we know the overall um, work done was parallel to the surface. So, um, What's basically happening here is we know the work done parallel to the horizontal is 9293.59. Okay, so using work done equals force times distance, we know the work done, we know the distance, so the overall force parallel to our um, hill is going to be um, 9293 divided by 25, which is 371.74 newtons. Okay, so that's the overall force that needs to be in this direction. Okay. But we want to know what this force was, and that is acting at an angle of 30 degrees. So, nothing too bad here. We just um, divide through by cosine 30, and you should find that the overall force is 429.27 newtons. Okay, and that's job done for question four.